I'm Lady J. You are in Lady J's kitchen and we cook all things that are delicious. The main ingredient here is love. It's coming from my oven with a lot of love and raised bread and fed right on the bayou, y'all. So welcome to Lady J's kitchen. Let's get cooking. First, let's make this crust, okay guys? So I'm gonna show you a real quick way to make a pie crust. And this is specifically for our chicken pot pie. Yes. So we're gonna go with, I'm gonna move this out of the way. And we're gonna go with about three cups of flour. And we're gonna keep some out on the side here. Just for dust. Do this, we are going to add about a teaspoon of salt, maybe a little bit more. I'm going to add other spices. So I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of poultry seasoning, some dry thyme. And that's about a half a teaspoon and a half a teaspoon of rosemary, dried rosemary. And that's gonna give our crust some flavor, which is what I like to do with my pot pies. Okay, great. Now, we're gonna add to this a stick. And this is room temperature butter, guys, so it is soft. I know they tell you on pie crust, oh, use cold butter and everybody's all about to panic, this is a half a cup of shortening. That's just to do it, okay? This is a potato masher, yes? No, we don't need a pastry cutter, this is even better. So you wanna mash that in, see how that does? It's beautiful. And it's gonna get you the right consistency so you don't have to fear how to make pie crust again. You take this, and you gotta get close to it, y'all. You gotta get familiar with this pie crust. Don't be scared of it. You the boss. Okay? Take your potato masher and just get that all incorporated into the flour. And it's going to be just the right size. And then you can stick it in the freezer for about 10, 15 minutes and let the butter harden back up. There you have it. The right kind of consistency for your pie crust. And if you look real close, you got those chunks of butter in there that you need. All right, guys, while the crust is in the freezer cooling down and the butter and oil is hardening up, I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put in this pot pie. This is already mixed up. And I know you're saying, Lady J, why you didn't show us all of that? Because you don't need me to show you all of this. This is very simple. You take a can of cream of mushroom if you want to, or cream of chicken, or whatever kind of cream soup that you have. Dump it in a bowl, put you a can of vegetables. These are diced peas and carrots. If you like that, you can put in. If you don't like that, put what you like, corn. Put some mushrooms, put some, I don't know, green beans. Here I have some fresh Hardy Colbert green beans. It's just fresh green beans. You can cut them in little pieces and you can put that in here. Fresh broccoli, cauliflower. In here I think I have some broccoli and cauliflower that I had left over and some diced carrots. And then you want to add in some milk to consistency or if you don't have milk, use the vegetable, the water from your vegetables and just mix it in because you want it to be kind of loose. That's going to make your pie good and creamy. And for a little salt and seasoning, you can take this chicken uh, flavor bouillon, put a teaspoon in, mix it in. That's going to give it flavor and make it taste delicious. Then you just add a couple of chunks, a can of some cooked chicken, diced chicken, or you can add, if you don't eat chicken, guys, use cream of mushroom, use some chunky mushrooms. If you're a vegetarian, you can do that. If you're an uh, ovo lacto vegetarian and you don't mind eating eggs, then you can put some hard boiled eggs in there. If you're just trying to cut some cost and you wanna make a pot pie and you don't have the meat to use, use hard boiled eggs. It's gonna give you the texture of meat. And honey, once that thing is baked and it's golden brown and hot bubbling coming out the oven, they're not gonna care if it's meat in it or not. It's just gonna be so good. Okay, so that's what we have going into our pot pies. All right, gonna add this flour. Get 
get our crust mix out of the freezer. And here I have a bottle of ice water. You can use a cup, doesn't have to be a bottle. And it does have about a teaspoon of vinegar added to it. So I'm gonna sprinkle my dough with this water. And I'm gonna take a fork just like this. And I'm gonna start mixing. Now you don't wanna just pour this water in. You just wanna kinda sprinkle it to get it started getting wet. And then I'm gonna show you an easy way to get this pie crust to the right consistency. Okay, so you move all, you get that first wet going and it's still pretty dry. And I'm gonna move all of it to one side of the bowl, except a little bit, push a little bit down in that well. And I'm gonna put my finger on here and sprinkle that. And I'm gonna just wet this part that's down in the well of the bowl. And then I'm gonna add a little bit more dry to it. This is how you make sure you don't over wet your pie crust. You just get it right. So when it starts forming a little ball of dough right there, I just move that little ball to the side, push some dry down into the little well, and wet it again, guys. Sprinkle again. Mix that again. It starts to form a dough ball. Move the dough ball to the side. Put the dry down in the bottom. Do it again. This way you don't make a mistake. And if you over wet, then you always have a little dry to add back in and get it right back to where you need it to be. Move that over and then we're gonna wet this right here. And that vinegar is gonna react with the oil and really give some nice crisping effects. That's what makes a pie crust good and flaky. All doughed up, see that? Nice little ball, not too wet, not too dry, just right. Put a little bit down in here to catch the bottom of the bowl. There we go. And my dough has formed just into a sticky ball, not too wet. My dough has formed just into a sticky ball, not too wet. All right, now for these pie pies, you buy these little mini pans. I know you've seen them in the store. This is four of them, that's how many we're making. And they come with the lid, and we're gonna use the lid and the pan. So let me show you how we're gonna do it. We're gonna grab about half of this dough, put it onto the board. Form a ball, get a nice dusting on there because you don't want this sticking. You got you some extra flour here and we're just gonna roll it out. We're gonna roll it to about, you know you read these recipes and they say about a half inch thick and all that. So all I want you to remember is roll it out to where it's thin enough that you can cut out four nice pieces out of it. Okay, and that takes all the guesswork out. So we're gonna take this little lid that came with the pans and we're gonna twist and cut out a disc. See that? It's perfect. And then we're gonna take these little discs and just drop them right in there. And it doesn't have to be perfectly all over the top, coming off the sides or anything. This is the inside of the pie. Nobody gonna see it but you and Jesus, okay? And you press that down in there, get you your fork that you had earlier, get you a couple of pokes in there just to keep it from bubbling up in the middle. Get your oven hot to about 400 degrees, 375, 400, and let this bake for about 15 minutes to get slightly browned at the bottom. All right, guys, so 
We have our pies and we filled them in. This is the last of our filling right here. We put about a cup in each one. And then you wanna take that disc of dough, drop it on top just like so. Get you a fork, press the edges around like this. I already did these guys. And for some reason my camera didn't start, so I'm showing you how it's done. All right, and then you get you a knife and you poke a hole, four of them if you want to look like the pie from the freezer. Put a little of this egg white on brush across each top. That's gonna give it a nice golden brown. And then if you want to, if you don't have this, you can use some nonstick cook spray and just spray each one. And then we're gonna pop them in the oven on a 425 oven for about 20 minutes. And we're gonna have us some delicious pot pie for dinner. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Lady J, you love me. I do. All right, go into the oven, guys. Mmm. -mm. Lady J loves me. Yes, she does. Lady J loves me. Yes, she does. Mmm. Sizzling good, guys. Can you hear that? Yes. So thanks for tuning in to Lady J's Kitchen on how we make our delicious pot pies from scratch. Mm. Lady J loves me. Yes, she does. Lady J loves me. Yes, she does. And I want you guys to enjoy your pot pie and keep cooking with me in Lady J's Kitchen. And thanks for tuning in, for liking and subscribing and sharing this video with somebody who you think it'll help. Thanks, guys. Bye.